that is factorized 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. So I don't like the 2 sitting outside, so I'm going to factor out the 2. So if you factor out the 2, so 2 times x squared is 2x squared. I'll go 2 times what gives me 5, so 2 times 2.5, so I should write 2.5x here. And again, 2 times what gives me 12, which is 6. So now this is 2 times, so this is x uh, with a bracket and x with a bracket. I'm going to, I want to write two numbers here. I wrote x here because x times x gives me x squared. Now, the two numbers are the two factors of negative 6. The two factors of negative 6, which adds to give you minus 2.5. That's what I want. So let us put the, let us not worry about the negative uh, sign. So 6, you can get in how many ways? You can get in different ways. So let us start 6 as 6 times 1. 6 times 1 gives me 6. But 6 and 1 is not going to give me 2.5. So I'm going to do the strategy of doubling and halving. So if I double this, uh, sorry, I'm halving this. So this is same as 3 times. three. If, if you half this, you have to double this. So 6 times 1 is same as 3 times 2. So what I did is I divided this by 2. And so I have to multiply this by 2. So 3 and 2 will not give me 2.5. So what happens? I'm going to again divide this by 2. So if you divide this by 2, so 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So to get the same answer, you have to multiply this by 2. That is 4. And 4 times 1.5 does give me 6. Okay, And uh, it, it also gives me so from this, you can also say that 4 or negative 4 plus 1.5 does give me negative 2.5. So let's check that on the calculator. It's always good to check. And I want to show you one neat strategy here. OK. So yeah, so I started with 6 times 1. 6 times 1 is 6. OK. So let's start. 6 times 1 is 6. 3 times 2 is also 6. And 1.5 times 4 is also 6. Okay, and if you go minus 4, sorry, minus 4 plus 1.5 gives me minus 2.5. So I can write here x uh, plus 1.5 times x minus 4. Okay, so this uh, 1.5 times negative 4 gives me negative 6. So this is 1.5x and this is negative 4x. Or 1.5x take away 4x is minus 2.5x. But we want to, uh, we will bring this 2 inside. So I'm going to factor in. Okay, first I factored out, I'm going to factor in this, in this bracket. You don't have to multiply in both the brackets. So this 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1.5 is 3, times x minus 4. And now you can check your answer by expanding it. So this is 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Now this is 3x. This is 3x and this is minus 8x. So my 3x minus 8x is also minus 5x. Okay, so let us do one more question. So this is 10x squared minus 19x plus 6. So I'm going to factor out a 10 here. So if you factor out a 10, you'll have x squared. 10 times x squared is 10x squared. 10 times what gives me 19? So it is 1.9x. And this is plus 0 0.6. Now this is a bit tricky example. So I want to get the two factors of 0 0.6, which gives me 1.9. So let me write first 0 0.6, the two factors of 0 0.6, which gives me negative 
So let me start with 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is 0 0.6 times 1. Okay. Now I want to get to 1.9. So what can I do? So I'm going to make this, I'm going to multiply this by 1.5. Okay. Because I want to reach 1.9. So what if I multiply this by 1.9? So 1 times 1.9 is 1.9. So if you multiply this number by 1.5, you have to divide this number by 1.5. So let me get the calculator out. So if you can't use a calculator, so you can do this is 0 0.6. So let us do without the calculator. 0 0.6 divided by 1.5. That is same as 6 over 15. This is 6 over 15 which is dividing both by 3, so this is 2 over 5. And 2 over 5 is 4 over 10, which is 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.4. So let's get the calculator and check. Uh, this is my calculator. So 0 0.6 times 1 gives me 0 0.6. And 0 0.4 times 1.5 also gives me 0 0.6. And if you if you put both negative, if this is negative and this is negative, that will also give me 0 0.6. So let me, this is one negative 1 1.5 and negative 0 0.4. So let's, let me show this on the calculator. So negative 1.5 times negative 0 0.4 gives me 0 0.6. And if you add them, that is minus... 1.5 plus negative 0 0.4 gives me negative 1.9. Okay, so this is 10 times x minus 1.5 times x uh, minus 0 0.4. Okay, so this is expanding this further. So this is putting this back here. So this is 10x minus 15 times x minus 0 0.4. So let us check by expanding it. So let us check by expanding whether we will get this back. So 10 time, 10x times x is 10x squared. 10x times 0.4 is minus 4x. This is minus 15x, and minus, minus and minus is plus, and 15 times 0.4 is 6. You can check that on the calculator. So this is 10x squared minus 19x plus 6.